you know, I was going to upload this uh, yesterday on Friday, but I realized I didn't have any, any time left to uh, when I wanted to rant a little bit, but talk about the same time. So I figured, fuck it. It's like 12.05 a.m. right now. Uh, it's like five minutes after midnight on a Saturday morning. So you know what? Let me just let me do the seven days podcast. Welcome, guys, to the podcast. Uh, I was going to do it ye- yesterday, like I said, but I had to go outside, go to the bank, pay my internet bill a little bit, give my mom $50 uh, for groceries, and I got home like around 1, 1 30. Then I, I ate my food, and then I was a little bit tired. <laughs> so then um, I was recording. Uh, I had to fix my microphone a little bit. Then after that, I had to take like i would i would uh like record but then there's those problems in the middle in the in between it so i'm like you know what fuck it i'm not gonna upload this at all now let me get this out of the way please click the like button click the subscribe button all right guys don't hesitate and uh follow me on twitter the twitter link will always be in the description you can click on it and it'll take you straight to my uh my twitter page i guess and then you can just follow me bam and then um yeah uh def jam vendetta gameplay ssx gameplay and my and my uh grant the follow gameplay will be in the description box below also the links all the links will be in the description box below so you can go check it out and uh, I have a very special gameplay coming out tomorrow. Trust me, you're not gonna want to miss it. I'm on a roll with this PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 gameplays. I'm on a roll with it so far. I got one more game. Well, actually, I got two more games, but I feel like this one that I want to upload Sunday, I'm gonna upload that today. So, I hope you guys will stay tuned to that. So, let's get into the nitty gritty. Monday Night Raw SmackDown. Raw was, Raw was good. Uh, Raw was decent. SmackDown was good. Um, I watched both. Uh, via no, I watched SmackDown. Um, after I came back from work, and I watched on the website where I, I watched TNA and Lucha Underground stuff. I didn't watch Lucha Underground this week, but I'll get to that eventually. And. I watched the Monday Night Raw since it was a uh, holiday, thank God. And um, it was a holiday here in Canada, uh, Thanksgiving. So uh, it was a Thanksgiving, and then after I was watching on the live stream, I'm watching Raw. The, the, I didn't watch the show at the beginning because, like the very beginning, because I was trying to look for a stream because I can't watch TV right now, so I can only watch via live stream. So I went on the same website that I watched Battle for Glory. On and I was able to find a live stream there, and Sa- uh, Sasha was in the ring. Rusev was in the ring, but what I found out was that Sasha was in the ring first after, you know, after her monumental win at fucking last week's Raw, uh, that she came out and said that oh every girl want to be like her, uh, the women's revolution and her and I get it it was Eddie Guerrero's birthday but the, uh like like six days ago. Like, like six, seven days ago, it was Eddie Guerrero's birthday, and so, she, so in respect, she put on Eddie Guerrero colors, obviously. And after she kept saying how she's a fan of Eddie Guerrero, she loves her. If it wasn't for Eddie Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero. I mean, if it wasn't for Eddie Guerrero, it would. She wouldn't be where she's at right now. She wouldn't be a wrestler at all. Honestly, I find those cringy as fuck because seriously, I we get it. We 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 all understand it since. You fucking wore his clothes at WrestleMania. You wore his colors at WrestleMania. We get it. You love Eddie. You don't see fucking, I don't know, John Cena coming out with Hogan colors. Oh, wait, he did that in 2014. But still, uh, you don't see, uh, I mean, you don't see wrestlers that love a former wrestler come out in their clothing. You don't see that. Besides uh, Dusty Rhodes or maybe a Piper, maybe, I don't know. Shit like that, you know? But anyways, uh, Charlotte came out. The Queen came out. But before she even says a word, Lana and Rusev come out. 
now I'm a little bit tired because I'm recording this legit after I got home from work. Uh, I finished watching some videos. And yes, I know Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 beta is out. I have not pre-ordered the game yet. I plan on pre-ordering it, pre-ordering it next Friday. This Friday coming. So I, I want to get that done because I have some money saved up in my account. So hope to God my pay won't suck. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, they came out. Rusev said something I agree with 100%. Nobody gives a fuck about your women's revolution. Nobody cares about your women's revolution. I love that he said that. No truer words from a man named Rusev. Because seriously, a woman's revolution is not the same women going at it again and again and again and again. For the past... Nine months, we've seen the same old shit. Okay? Like I said, everybody shits on John Cena and, Re and Randy Orton. But when it's fucking uh, Sasha and Charlotte, oh, you're sucking on their titties now. I see you. Huh? I see you now. Okay. Okay, I remember that. I will remember this forever. It's like, oh, yeah. All these fucking idiots are, like, sitting there, like, oh, Sasha and Charlotte, the best thing ever, best feud, blah, blah, blah. We get it. They had great matches, but enough is enough. They should have ended on July, uh, at SummerSlam. Sasha still could have retained the title and then took, uh, like, two weeks off. She don't have to beat her every week. Like, holy shit. You know, the champion does not have to beat her every week because who, why, why is the champion there in the first place? Are they there to defend their title? No. They're not. So why they're there? It should be people that's not champions fighting and scratching and clawing to get an opportunity to get the spot to face the champion one on one. But no, no. We're seeing the same shit over and over again. We all know that the queen is gonna is gonna fall at at Hell in the Cell within two to three weeks. Okay? So I don't understand why this match is even happening. Charlotte should have took a day, her week, her month off, week off, whatever off. Took a took a, a break. Could have left and come back later on. No. Have to come back and wrestle Sasha again. And again. Oh my god. Like Raw is just awful when it comes to the women. I swear to God. I swear it's true. It's damn true. Kurt Angle style. Like, fuck, man. Freaking, we have Nia Jax with her leg drops. Alicia Fox with, you need to get out of my face now. You need to get out of my face now. We have Dana Brooke with her flexing and her chubby cheeks and her bug eyes from WWE 2K17 and her, and her plastic balloons there. And we have Emma Lena. Emma fucking Lena. Emma Joke. That's her name. Emma Joke. She's a joke now. WWE has made it to a fucking joke. Emma went from a badass that would face Asuka and had a great match at TakeOver London to coming back as a diva. That's fucking bad. You go from having great matches with a highly competitive superstar in Asuka to being a WWE diva. That's fucking sad. You no, this is this is this is the best way I'll put it. You went from kicking ass to being Eva Marie version 3. Simple as that. And that's that is 911 bad. Okay? Seriously. Emelina is a fucking joke. The fact that they're changing her name and how she is. I knew. I, I, I liked Emma when she came through. I don't care about, you know, her dance and the bubbles. Right? 
Like it was, it was, it was the thing that people did. I'm like, okay, I actually like this. The fans are into it, so let me. I, I, I was like, let me see if I can connect with it, and I connected with it. I liked it with her and Santino a little bit, a little bit. Not the, when they went too far and it, it took too long, then I lost interest. But before that, it was like, okay, okay, I like this shit. I like this shit a little bit. And then, like, I knew she was a, a beautiful woman from the begin to begin with. I, I knew she was. But now. WWE is basically trying to make her a sunny, a fucking, uh, a sable. Do I have problems seeing tits? No, I don't. Women's tits? No, I don't. But, when it comes to wrestling, I want to see wrestling. When you watch an action film, you don't want to see a love scene. You want to see an action. You don't want to see love scenes. When you see a horror film, do you want to see murder? You want to see killing? You don't want to see comedy hour. You don't want to, or you don't, no, not that. You don't want to, you don't want to see fucking uh, 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 a rom com. No, you want to see the the, the 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 horror in the movie. I want to see wrestling from Emma. If Emma changes her wrestling style, I don't give a fuck about Emma. Period. That's just me. I'm speaking for me. I'm not speaking for no one else. Oh, uh, my God. Paige. What's so great about Paige now? Huh? I'm talking about the Raw Women division right now individually. I mean, Sasha, Stale, Charlotte. I mean, I mean, same old, same old, right? Fucking Paige. What's so good about Paige? Oh, she won the Divas title on her first WWE main if main roster show on Raw. Uh, Raw, and she won the Divas title. She won on her first day. Yay! That was two fucking years ago. She she held the title, lost it to AJ Lee, won it back at SummerSlam on her birthday. Yay! Two fucking years ago. She spent about. She spent. About nine to ten months trying to get that the Divas title and failed for nine to ten months last year. Think about it. January at the Royal Rumble, well she teamed up with Natalia against the Bellas, failed. Fast lane, fail. On won at WrestleMania, sure. Uh thanks to AJ Lee, because she's the one that got the victory. Extreme Rules, Naomi got that one because she injured Paige at the time. Uh, Paige came into the fold uh, with Naomi. No, Paige got her one-on-one -on -one match. Failed. Triple Threat, failed. Money in the Bank, failed. Battleground, didn't compete. It was Charlotte, Becky, and Sasha that competed. Or uh, Charlotte, Brie, and Sasha. Then, um... SummerSlam, the PCB won, yay. Uh, Night of Champions, Charlotte won, yay. And after uh, Hell in the Cell, Charlotte won. She turned heel, failed. Brought up uh, Charlotte's dead brother, failed miserably. And fought a Survivor Series, failed. TLC, failed. Paige is nothing, no more. Paige is no longer the Paige I first saw. Paige, what is she now? A total fucking diva. That's who Paige is. If you don't agree with me, tough shit. Or, okay. If you don't agree with me, fuck that. Just, alright. But I'm just saying, look. I'm looking at it like this. All she's done was change her, uh, add more fucking makeup. And and changing her the 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 dye in her hair from blue to white, that's it. Wearing gray purplish uh, lipstick, having uh, buffed up lips now, looking like she kissed a fucking bee and the bee stung her ass. It stung her fucking lips and now her lips are puffy as shit. That's not Paige that I remember. Look at Paige two years ago. Look at Paige now. You can't tell me there's no difference. Paige two years ago looked like she had fire under her ass. Now, she don't give a fuck. 
She took a illegal drug and now she's suspended again. Why isn't this not? Why is this not happening to Roman Reigns? To a fucking uh, I don't know someone else I hate. You know, even even Marie. Uh, you know, shit like that. Michael Cole, Byron fucking Suxton. You know. Why why aren't the, the people that deserve to be suspended not suspended? You know, Cole should be suspended for being fucking awful. And Saxton should be suspended or fired. He should be fired for being awful. I hate Saxton. We all know this. We all know this. Yeah, that, that 25, 26 thumbs down on my video earlier this year. We know. I hate Byron Saxton. Interviewer, fine. Commentator, he's fucking worse than Josh Matthews in TNA. That's how bad he is. Josh Matthews is decent. He's decent. The only time I give him credit is when he said, holy shit. They didn't bleep it out. They said He said, holy shit, when EC3 lost to Mike Bennett on Impact. After that, I don't give a fuck about Josh Matthews. All right, all I can say is Byron Saxton is below Josh Matthews. Suppose that. I'm just speaking on how Monday Night Raw sucks, and Summer Rae's injured, and that's it. So that's uh, that's all we get with the women's division, man. Sm I mean, SmackDown we have Naomi on TV, Alexa Bliss on TV, Carmella on TV, and Nikki Bella. We don't see that on Raw. We see the same people. Bailey fighting a jobber again. Again. She couldn't fight Alicia Fox. She couldn't fight, like, oh my god. I, I can't. The best segment of the night on Raw was Jericho and with his list and, and Stephanie and Mick Foley with his weird hairdo and uh, his flannel suit. I like his suit. I'm not going to lie. Kevin Owens, you know, he just standing there watching on like the fuck is going on. Uh... You know, Chris Jericho crossed out Stephanie's uh, name on the list because, uh, well, she was willing to grant him a chance to compete inside Hell in the Cell if he defeated Seth Rollins, which he did not. And that was it. Raw had a great match with, uh, with the mixed tag team match. Now, I like the mixed tag team match dynamic, just that we had a preview of Hell in the Cell right there. Think about it. Sasha cannot attack Rusev or vice versa. Rusev cannot attack Sasha. And... Reigns can attack Charlotte. So Reigns can only get Rusev and Sasha can only get uh, Charlotte. Think about that. We've got Hell in the Cell in a tag team format. Pointless. Great ending. Pointless though. Simple as that. I mean, Sasha with the bank statement. Roman Reigns leaping over Sasha with the spear. Nice ending. But like I said... I was like, we just had, we, we basically just saw Hell in the South. Sarah tapped out. So she doesn't deserve a rematch at this point because she fucking tapped out. What do I know? Um, SmackDown, we had James Ellsworth getting a title shot against AJ Styles next week. This week coming on Tuesday. But um, he fought AJ Styles. Amber screwed over AJ, joking around. Man was on his phone. James was tapping, and and Dean Amber was on his phone. Even though I'm, so, even though the man was behind him, right behind him tapping, he didn't hear that shit. He was on the phone, and then he hit him with the dirty deeds, and then uh, James Ellis was able to get the win. Ambrose hit dirty deeds on J AJ Styles twice for James Ellsworth to get the victory. So, Ellsworth is the star right now. If he wins, which he's not going to win. I don't know why I said that. I take that back. He's not going to win. He's not going to win. But I want him to be on SmackDown every week. I like this guy. He's the one jobber I actually enjoy out of everyone. I don't even like that one guy that said big sweaty man. That guy. Uh, oh, what the fuck is that? But, anyways. Uh, Tina Impact was interesting. Uh, I don't like the Grand Championship anymore. I hate the concept now. It's just awful. Rounds in wrestling. I mean, no, no, no. Unless I'm watching UFC, no. Uh, the Grand Championship is just weird now, and I just don't care. The Hardys were having a great segment. I had a, but the, but the, Matt Hardy was like, Breath of Nero. I just had a, 
a a premonition. <laughs> Matt Hardy is a fucking genius. I swear to the Lord, he's just awesome. But then you're obsolete, delete, and then after you know singing the song to Decay or the challengers, whoever that will be, uh, for the World Tag Team Titles of TNA. They'll fade away and class themselves as obsolete. Obsolete. They'll fade away and classify themselves as obsolete. So, and Mike Bennett fought Cody, which was a great match. Cody wrote, uh, 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 Cody hit the crossroads, 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 and was able to get the win. And Maria. You know, the Bennett's are not are not looking good that episode. Maria lost to Gail Kim. Uh, eat defeat with the trash can lid. One, two, three. Maria is no longer the leader of the knockouts. And I really hope that Ali will finally stand up to Maria. And finally be like, bitch! You better calm the fuck down. You better not come at me with that bullshit. I'm gonna whoop your ass. But yeah. Uh, I think that's it for TNA Impact. Uh, SmackDown. What else happened on SmackDown? Nothing much that I can remember. Uh, Orton and 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 uh, Kane was teaming up against Wyatt and Harper at the end. Uh, Orton's gonna make a tag to Kane, but then the the Wyatt family thing came on. The the the, the screen graphic, and after he came, the lights went out. The Kane, and then after the the Kane, uh, fuck. Uh, what am I saying? <sighs> The fucking lights came back on. It's Harper on Randy Orton's corner. And Randy Orton's like, the fuck happened to Kane? And he turns around with the sister Ab by Bray Wyatt. One, two, three. <clears throat> that was it. And yeah, I think that's it for the for this wrestling week. I mean, that's what I'm talking about this, uh, this week of wrestling. Um, uh, what else? NXT, we had Glorious 10 losing to uh, The Sanity. Which is Eric Young's group? Uh, Cause I'm like, who is the only, who's the one guy that I know as a wrestler has a green jacket with the Canadian logo on it? I have not seen any other wrestler besides Eric Young with that jacket. So there you go. Eric Young is the leader of Sanity. I hope Sanity is gonna win since Kota Ibushi and Hideo Tommy is no longer a team because Hideo Tommy got injured with a neck injury once again. Hideo is on the shelf this time with a neck injury. For fuck's sake, live events should not be taking place anymore. I'm sorry, they they're fucking up people's uh, career. Look at Emma; she got fucked up because of a back injury on a live event, and now she's Emelina now. Fucking. A lot of events need to be taken off permanently. They don't, they don't, it doesn't matter anymore. You know, it, no one cares. <sighs> but besides all that, I think uh, that's it for Raw. I mean, Zane fought Title Sunil, I think. I don't, I, that could be last week. I don't know. Uh, what else is there to talk about? Fucking. No, that's it. Uh, that's what I can think of. New Day, they need to lose the tag team titles. Uh, Raw's tag team just sucks. Raw tag team sucks compared to SmackDown. SmackDown has so little, yet they're doing so much. The Hype Bros are in the feud with the Ascension, which I am intrigued by because I want to know what's going to happen. I, like, why is the Ascension always looking at the Hype Bros like that? Like, looking up and down, trying to, trying to judge them, like, without even saying a word, and just leave. You know, and the Usos and, and, and American Alpha going at it. Slater. I think Slater and Rhino might defend their tag titles against the Spirit Squad and Kenny and Mikey. That's what I think. Because if they interfered with, if they interfered with Dolph Ziggler uh, and the Miz uh, thing going on, I think that's what's going to happen. But that's just me. So thank you guys for listening to today's 7 Days Podcast. If you guys can... Click that like button. Don't hesitate. The subscribe button is down below. When you scroll down, you're going to see my profile picture. And there's going to be a subscribe bar right there. I want you to click that. All right? So you can support your boy. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. Like I said, all video links is in the description box below. Twitter link is also there. So, follow me on Twitter also. And click the like button. Thank you for watching. This is Boy with the Dream. I am exhausted. 
but I'm still feel like recording some videos. I am out, guys. Three, two, one. Peace.